Okay, so I was hoping to do this on the bike, uh, but the only good day I got to ride was Friday, and uh, I spent that doing a lot of running around on the bike, and uh, uh, I met some friends and my wife up uh, town for dinner, and I had planned to go out after that, and uh, I just never got around to it, so I was going to do a little uh, vlog then, so I guess I'll have to wait for next week, but I didn't want to let it go too long be um so I just wanted to say I want to thank uh, Dave and his girlfriend Janet for stopping by. And uh, we had a great time. Uh, hopefully we didn't dominate the conversation too much. My wife and I are a little bit um, awkward in social situations, so we tend to talk more than we should. Um, I, I, wish, I wish we weren't, things weren't as crazy busy around here as they are. I would like to have planned out something for when you came over but uh so i guess uh uh dinner and drinks on the deck was <laughs> about the best i could do i'm afraid um so hopefully you guys had a good time hopefully you had a good ride back and hopefully you had a good time at that uh spot we were talking about um that secret location <laughs> uh, so anyway I'll get to the mail calls here in a second uh, my PC uh, the hard drive on my PC has got some issues so um, I've got um, um, a, a piece of software fixing it now it's recovered a couple of the spots so um, but it's going to run for another 40 hours or something so I've got a second machine I'm going to edit this on so it's just going to be a quick um um, short video for that reason um, the editing is not going to be real great because uh, while I have plenty of spare PCs the problem is none of them are really particularly good at rendering so anyway uh, so having said that uh, we'll get to the mail call um, not much progress on the Gilson I um, painted the rims uh, the rear rims of course we saw the front ones already painted but uh, the rear ones um, not great didn't turn out great but good enough to keep the rims from rusting and that was really the goal there um and so uh like i said i got basically everything here back uh, i've got all of the soaking and degreaser now i'm kicking myself i should have rolled this out and degreased the whole thing before i started tearing into it but frankly i didn't know i was going to start doing that until i actually did it so uh i don't think this is supposed to be this loose but i can't figure out how to tighten it uh, it does spin. I mean, you know, it does turn with the shaft. I can't, you know, but um, The brakes were jammed up pretty good. So I took them off cleaned them. I took the uh, disc off sanded it down and cleaned it So they work now. So when I press the pedal it actually stops them uh, So this will this is just degreaser on here from here back It's just kind of covered with degreaser and letting it soak for a little bit and then I'll clean it up and then I'm going to try and fix this. It's bent down pretty pretty far. So I'm going to try and pull that up so when I put the ball on here, it's level and not sitting at an angle. Uh, I bent this one in already. It was like out here, so that's good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then uh, hopefully next week, during the week, get all that sanded down and start painting it. Um, but short of that, not much else going on um you know gilson or bike wise um just a lot of stuff i gotta do for family and whatnot uh so anyway i'm gonna cut it short that's gonna be it for now uh, i got two mail calls coming and then um no sorry three yeah i want to say three and then um uh uh then that'll be it uh for this week <laughs> Hopefully next week I'll be back on the bike. The weather's supposed to turn nice. Up till now it's been in the 90s and humid, and I just can't, I can't deal with that that much heat in riding. You know what little riding gear I have, I just sweat too much. Uh, um, uh, but next week's supposed to be cooler, and I'll be able to get out on it more, and maybe get a vlog in or two. Um, I know there's a cafe in town that, or not in town, but not too far from here, that has a um, Tuesday night bike night. So I might head up there next Tuesday if the weather's nice and just kind of check that out. So anyway, 
that's it from now. Again, my wife and I, thank you, Dave and Janet, for coming by and spending a little time with us. You guys are awesome. I uh, really appreciate it. Nicer people you won't meet, I'm telling you right now. Um, so I'm hoping we can get up his way. Uh, I know uh, Matt was here, too. Um, I, um, MB... I'm going to get it wrong. MBYR31. <laughs> anyway, he was here, and... Um, uh, he could only stay for an hour, but I know he, he expressed uh, um, an interest in going up north, too. So we're going to chat a little bit um, over the next week or so and see what we can do. Short of that, um, that's about it. So hope everyone had a good weekend, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. So, double mail call today. Um Got my sticker from Classic Car uh, Overhaul. This guy's doing a sweet restoration on a 64 Impala. And uh, it's on a rotisserie even. I mean, it's just, uh, I'm learning a lot of cool stuff from this guy. He's And he's doing it like he's taking his time and doing everything like perfect. So, um, he, you know, he's just doing the body now. So you'd be catching him on uh, as he's doing it. So it's just really cool. And he, he recently did a DIY uh, shop fan that you know to suck out the debris and the overspray and whatever and it was very clever the way he did it and um, so I'm looking to steal that idea from my shop my garage uh, but my garage is one car so it's real small so I can I'm gonna have to do it on a smaller scale so it's taking a little longer to figure out how to do it but I definitely want to do it because I never thought to do it that way so uh, and um, the guy's talented enough but he I guess if he plays guitar too, so <laughs> and very well, I might add. I, I don't know much about music, but it sure sounded good. So um, anyway, check out his channel. I'll have links in the description. Thanks for the sticker, Sam. Appreciate it. Um, also got uh, if I put it the right way, <laughs> the '88 Katana 600. Uh, this guy's got a sweet Camaro and a nice Jeep he just picked up, and he's taking it for wheeling a couple of times. You know, a little bit. Uh, he also does videos on his uh, bike and just uh, random painting videos. Uh, he recently did one with a big, I think it was a dump truck or something. Uh, you can correct me on that, Matt, if I got that wrong. But um, anyway, he, he does excellent work. Um, he also doesn't live too far from here, like an hour, hour and a half, something like that. So I'm hoping to meet him up for lunch or dinner somewhere, but uh, time just hasn't been on my side. It's... You know, he's been more than willing to go. It's just my it's issue on my side. But uh, anyway, thank you, Matt. I appreciate the sticker. It's going to go up there with the rest of them, and I'll be back in a second. Wow. So another mail call. Just as I was doing the videos for the other one that showed up in the mailbox. This one from Little Doggy. Yeah, baby. I love that. Uh, yeah, it's a great channel. I'm sure if you're watching my stuff, you're watching Little Doggy stuff. But if you're not, check it out. The guy's uplifting. It's just really cool. And uh, so I got the sticker, and somewhere here I got a card. I don't. It must be over on the bench. But anyway, and then he did this. That is oh my gosh. That is above and beyond. <laughs> and I, I'm actually gonna keep this and hang it up down by my computer. That is just awesome. Thank you, sir. And you'll be up, up on the board. Hang on a second. Cabinet. And so are you. And so check out all these other guys. Uh, Cutworm, uh, Adventures with Bash. Um, I always forget this guy's name. <laughs> Um, these are the advertising, uh, Texas Viking, uh, Stroked Firebirdable, he was just here, cool guy, his girl, him and his girlfriend are great, um, uh, more on that later, um, uh, or maybe before this one, uh, it depends on when I release them, um, Ichiban Moto's awesome channel, the, uh, Captain Jerk, the guy's great, Garage Files, he's doing some really cool stuff, um, I won't go over what everybody's doing, but just trust me. You'll if you haven't checked them out, you'll want to because they're pretty awesome people. I think so. Anyway, thanks. And there you have it, little doggy uh, up on the cabinet. I said board earlier, but I meant cabinet. Uh, Sam, I'm sending you a sticker, buddy. 
just so you know, just letting you know. Um, probably tomorrow, actually. Um, so that would be Saturday. So yeah, little doggy, check him out. The guy does uh, awesome videos, and he he makes a um, a condiment. I can't, it's like a smoke rub or something. Uh, I haven't checked it out, but I plan to. So uh, I believe you can get it from his website. Anyway, check him out. It's cool stuff, man. Later.